would you look at that? At a church now, looking absolutely fantastic. We were at my parents' church today. Now it's time to grind on some lunch, baby. Let's get this in the books. Brother's still in town, he's leaving this evening. We got a chance to spend a little bit more time with him, and then we are gonna get into some action tonight. Don't you worry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Looking absolutely spot on fantastic. See you guys soon. Penny, 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 Here's where I went to elementary school Aww. and junior high right here. Don't leave. Ladies and gentlemen, we're over here at Pam's place. Gonna go get some uh, some good old breakfast, lunch, maybe some dinner. Pam's place. Young dreams are left in Whoa, look at that. Here we go. Pam's place comes through. Pam's place comes through in the clutch. Look at that. Whoa, and that's what I get right there. Look at those pumpkin pancakes. Excellent. Wow, look what else showed up. We have biscuits and gravy. Now those fruits looking pretty good though. Look at that. Mom got the uh, the baby locks on the minivan. Yeah, grocery getter. That's it right there. Rental car, baby. Hey, that's Merca. Merca right there, Merca. A quake from a tremble. Yeah, here we go. Good evening from Washington University. They said no, you made me smarter, now I'm on my own. When you're well, ladies and gentlemen, leave a mom and pop's house now. How about that debate, ladies and gentlemen? Wow, that was heating up real good, I'll tell you what. I'm not much of a political guy myself. I don't like, you know, like, get in there on CNN every day and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? To each their own, but I did enjoy watching this debate with my dad and my wife and myself of course my grandma and my mom were listening in from the other room and it definitely heated up I'll tell you what guys that was good stuff right there anyway we are looking absolutely fantastic now heading back home and getting thirsty for a dive which we're definitely gonna put in the books tonight I'm gonna go ahead and head on home we're gonna get Natalie tucked into bed make sure she looks all good and fancy she might be in bed by then but I'm gonna head out a little bit early because I want to get a nice long hunt in the books got nothing to wake up for tomorrow except for getting the vlog up on time and hopefully I'm not too tired to uh, look at that hair hopefully I'm not too tired to not edit tonight so I plan on editing tonight so it's up when I wake up tomorrow so that's that let's go Alrighty, 101 a.m. in the morning. We're still looking absolutely fantastic. 64 degrees on the clock. Let's see what we got. Definitely tired because again, I'm probably on six hours of sleep, maybe five hours, 50 minutes for an all day event. Definitely a long day and I start to get really tired if I didn't get my nap in. I didn't get my nap in. There was a lot of activities. Lunch, brother left, stayed for the debate at my parents' house, left, came back, watched like three episodes of Supergirl, me and the missus on the couch doing a little bit of that watching TV stuff which I don't do very often but so every once in a while it's kind of nice to watch a series television series instead of actual movies so going down this beautiful street right now Sun is not shining <laughs> as you can tell I'm tired I just need to find one thing I did bring half a coca-cola with me so I can get a little caffeine in me because I definitely want to be hunting at least a couple hours I will be definitely editing when I wake up tomorrow because I can already feel that I am just gonna crash hard when I get home. Beautiful, let's roll. Well guys, behind Office Depot and I hit, think we hit a little score right here in this box. Seems to be some uh, packages that were returned, dumped over, looks like they're still good, but do have labels on them. We're gonna go quick because we're not in the right time for security. He might pop around any minute now. We're gonna just go ahead and check some of these or maybe take this box. Looks like a printer top there. We're looking absolutely fantastic. So let me get that out of there real quick with two hands and let's get going. It's a nice successful haul at Office Depot, Office Max there. Grabbed a bunch of things that
that were in boxes. Definitely nice to see that again. Probably caught it on a right night. But look at this. We're gonna come back again. Remember where that Everlast thing was. Let's come back over here to the old sports authority next to this truck. And I wanna show you this. Look at this. I'm gonna tuck in just a little bit. I don't wanna get too close because of nails. But I'm gonna tuck in right here. And I do wanna show you this right here this is another haul take a look at this this has to be the leftover remaining stuff from again sports authority i don't know if they put it back in there i mean look at this look at these tall under armors we're back to square one again look at this we got more metal all sorts of stuff this must be the final shebang they must have kept it in there look at these wheel racks right here that you could have that solid metal with wheel stack the racks those are still there Oh my goodness gracious, we have stuff for days. Look at inside the dumpsters. We got racks and display things for days. Cardboard up here in the, whoops, in this thing still. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Cardboard, all sorts of things. I don't know what those orange things are. If those are uh, organization things, we need those actually. If that's for a slat wall, which I don't think it is. Again, I don't need anything this large. I would love. This might fit in the back of the car, but I doubt it. But that is absolutely gorgeous. That is an aluminum slat wall right there. Again, look at all that metal. That's all shelving, guys. We're back to square one. Look at this huge one. Has wheels. If you owned a warehouse, look at this. You have this big old Easton thing right here. You got Nike up here. Look at this one. That's two humongous slat walls with wheels and then again back to square one look at all of the plexi board all that stuff guys more metal back there a ton of metal back there the eastern thing is still there wood and then more slat walls here again the tall ones with the brown in the middle i think i'm all slat walled out but then look at this one behind the truck here that's another one i might take this small piece right here now nah, it's a little bit beat up i could saw that off and i already have another one i haven't used yet again i think i'm all slat walled it out again look at all this beautiful beautiful metal this one is gorgeous i'd love to get my hands on that slat wall if i had a warehouse to that one but then definitely the one down there i might come back for that we'll see goodbye my love again and I can't take you every time goodbye my love well my honest opinion about that sports authority hall which has now been gone for many many months now if you rewind back the dumpster diving videos you'll see that was probably what a month and a half ago closer to two months when sports authority finally pushed all their other stuff which I found that display hall what I personally believe is they left a bunch of shelving and the store thought they were gonna use it for an organization and shelves, but turns out they did not. That's another stack of shelving, and oh my goodness gracious, if I had a two-car garage and a truck, a lot of those things, a lot of those display slat walls, Nike, would be in my truck right now, absolutely. And I would set that thing up. It would be like what my man cave is times 10, because those things were clean. Each one of those tall Nike ones, with wheels on the bottom, brand new, you're probably costing, oh my goodness, a couple thousand dollars, probably obviously brand new from the manufacturer, whoever made it. Uh, and then even resale value, you're probably looking at somebody with, you, you'd you have to get someone with a big enough shop that needs that, but they would easily probably pay four to 500 for the large Nike one. Again, the huge Nike one that goes all the way up the wall when you look at it at Sports Authority. Those are once in the lifetime scores that you'll probably never see again unless another store shuts down like that, which <laughs> trust me, I've dumpstered over a couple of other sports authorities and sports chalets. You're not gonna see stuff like that. That's unbelievable. That will all be gone in the next couple days for sure. Now lately, you can't be found. Did you leave me? Shed it on the ground. Well, did someone take the chair and then put the chair back? That one chair that uh, wasn't very nice with the IKEA. Let's go in for a closer look real quick right there. Oh, actually, I, th I think that's a nice one. That's probably pretty much the same one I got. Hold on. Bold, bold, back in this old town with my old friends. Gotta come around Cause I've been looking for you too
to show me. I think that's the same one. They took it, they realized that it was already ripped up and they put it back. It wasn't like crazy ripped up. I mean, if I was a bachelor, I'd rock it for sure. But you know what I'm saying? They're probably waiting for the next one, huh? Dreams are left in my locker, cause we're grown now. Sometimes it's really, really hard to see it, but behind the half walls is where you're gonna find some goodies sometimes. Remember those last two messenger bags? Behind the half wall would have no idea just driving by. Nothing is poking its head out or anything like that. And that, even though it was a little bit worn, that was a wonderful, beautiful leather with that kind of really nice mesh to it type of material for your back. That was probably a very expensive chair when it was brand new. All right, let's keep hunting, baby. At least they moved the chairs and table out here to the side. Four chairs still remain. Really nice chairs again with that beautiful table, except it's missing the part that goes underneath the table, but you could always make shift and build something that's always nice to see the maintenance guys put it out there instead of throwing it inside hopefully someone picks that up that's a nice set nice hauls today i can barely keep my eyes open so i'm going to bed i am very very tired all right enjoy your evening enjoy your day god bless you god protect you remember to cop a damn baby live your drink see you guys tomorrow later